New forecasts for Lake Mead water levels show some improvement over the past 60 days. The new forecast is part of the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation's most probable 24-month study. On March 16, the water level in Lake Mead was 1,045.89 feet above sea level. This is the measurement used by the government for all reservoirs in the Colorado River Basin. The water level in the Lake Mead Pool is 1,229 feet, which is 183.11 feet below its full level. Lake Mead hit a record low last July 26 when it dropped to 1,040.74 feet, after it was first filled in the 1930s. If the new forecast holds, the lake will hit an all-time low by the end of April. Reclamation service forecasts show that the lake level will drop 15 feet by the end of June this year, before rising slightly to 1,024 feet by the end of the year. Then, in 2024, the lake level is projected to drop another 17 feet to 1,017.68 feet by the end of September 2024. California no longer experiences extreme or exceptional drought but larger reservoirs such as Lake Mead and Lake Powell remain at record lows. Melted snowpacks from the mountains can benefit reservoirs that have dried up later in the season. Excessive rainfall in California has filled several reservoirs to the brim. The chilling photos show the huge differences in water levels as relief came in following the extreme drought. A series of air currents have brought excessive rain to California in recent weeks. At higher elevations, storms bring snow, which melts later in the season, benefiting reservoirs. Storms are replenishing reservoirs in California and surrounding states, even as they pose a life-threatening flooding hazard. The second-largest reservoir in California, Lake Oroville, has risen more than 200 feet from its September 2021 low. Other reservoirs in California have also been filled, such as Whale Rock Reservoir in San Luis Obispo County. The reservoir recently overflowed, but this has not happened since 2005. Until recently, the reservoir remained below 90% capacity for the last four years. Also, it's important to add that when snowpacks in the Rocky Mountains melt, they flow into Lake Mead. Snow cover is above average but it's going to take more than one year to make a meaningful difference in the nation's largest reservoir.